What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here with something juicy from the Suicide Squad movie. That's right. We all know that Batman is, in fact, going to be in Suicide Squad. We saw the set photos. We saw the stuntman. We even saw Mr. Affleck being escorted onto the set, being covered up because they didn't want to let everybody know. But, hey, the jig is up. We know. Cat's out of the bag. Whatever the hell the sayings are. But anyways, guys, uh, I got something juicy for you. And it's pretty much, well, if it's all legit, it's spoilerific. So if you don't want to hear it, stop the video right now. Watch one of my other videos. I, yeah, I uploaded a casual Batman video yesterday, so go watch that. But if not, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you guys that are still listening, check this shit out. Okay, this is coming from... Uh, Mr. Gonzalez, that guy that gets all the inside scoops, I don't know where he gets it, but uh, he's got a new website called Heroic Hollywood, you guys should check it out, he just launched it today. So here's what he has to say about Batman's role in Suicide Squad, okay? Um, he says, in short, he goes and pays a visit to Amanda Waller, okay? Batman breaks into a maximum security, um, well, you know, a maximum security prison. In fact, he's already inside Amanda Waller's office, waiting for her in the shadows when she appears, just like Batman would. And he's gonna break into a, he's gonna break into a maximum security prison. I mean, that's just Batman right there. Okay, and then it says, already inside this maximum security prison designed to contain supervillains, and he is already inside. The guards are just fucking clueless, pretty much. And what does he want to tell Mr. Waller? Well, he has a little bone to pick with her. Batman is totally against the concept of the Suicide Squad. In fact, he warns Waller that he will hold her personally responsible for incidents says, with the Joker and the rest of the Suicide Squad. A warning to so stern that he has to visit Waller personally to, to deliver the message. And that's not it. There is also a Bruce Wayne scene that I guess uh, Mr. Gonzalez is investigating. So not only are we going to get some bats that we already knew, we're, we now kind of know why. And we actually might get some Bruce Wayne as well in the movie, which is just fantastic, guys. So let me know what you think about that down below in the balls area. Do you like that idea? I love it. I absolutely love it. And, um, you know, you already know that he's going to have something with the Joker because we saw him on top of the Joker's car. God, that was so awesome. So we know that there's going to be some bat and jokerness going on in the Suicide Squad movie, and I love it. Absolutely love it, guys. Let me know what you think about it down below in the balls there. Also, hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel, too. It is down there. Visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos. And follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.